What's going on, you guys? Coaster here talking about the Pac-12 title game, rematch of Stanford-UCLA. This is going to be another tough game. And it's hard for me to have faith, mainly because of the fact that uh, Stanford is way more talented than us, and they they exposed us. They shut us down in every fashion, and they outplayed us in every way possible. Uh, yeah, I'm not exactly confident going into this game, but you know what? Regardless of what happens, I'm happy with how this season's gone. Regardless, I'm not going to be mad over it. I hate losing to Stanford, but I've accepted the fact they're way better than us in terms of just players and coaches being knowing what what's up. Uh, they outplayed us last week, and they better discipline. They shut us down at running. And the way I see it is that if we want to win this game, we have to have more heart. We're going to have to want it and just show more heart than them because I think based on talent and straight-up force, uh, Stanford's going to win that battle every time, especially in the trenches. Uh, their defensive line shut down Jonathan Franklin. Their offensive line is blocked well for Stephen Taylor. It, that's pretty much winning the battle right there, and sadly, of course, our secondary is not that good. We, that's, that's not a secret. Uh, yeah, the front seven's really going to have to play a perfect game, if you want to call it, in terms of just stopping the run, because if we can't stop Stephen Taylor, it's going to be a long day. And said before, they're going to have to play with heart. Uh, Hogan is also very elusive and good at escaping a good pass rush, so that's that's also going to be an annoying factor. Going to have to have guys in the box. Uh, offensively, we got to run the ball well. That's, that's going to be the big issue is can we run the ball? Uh, Oregon State stopped us very well. Against Cal, we chose to get cute and call too many screens, but when we played Oregon State, they shut us down because they can stop the run. And Stanford did exactly the same thing. They knew how to stop Jonathan Franklin. And, uh, let's, let me just say this in mind. Before the season started, our offensive line had some depth issues. And I think they've overachieved. For the most part this year, I didn't expect our running game to be what it is this year. I didn't expect any of that. So for the most part, I'd say they've overachieved. Just right now against the top athletes like Stanford, they're outmatched. That's a problem. Hundley, that means we might have to go to the passing game. And Hundley, it's not that he sucks in passing, but if we're passing a lot of the time, 40 times a game or something, we it's going to be hard because uh, Hundley's not meant to be thrown for every down. He can't pass every down possible if the run is stopped. We saw that against Oregon State. So Receivers, I mean, Joseph Fari is going to be our best weapon. Stanford's tight end is their best weapon. Stanford's defense has been ridiculous, and I don't know how to solve it. But now that we've learned a little bit about each team, hopefully they review tape and learn from it. The best thing about it is that we played each other back-to-back -back in the sense that you can see tape and learn from your mistakes, not from what was so early in the season, but we just played each other. We, teams are going to have to really change up their game plans and see how good they adjust, and then we'll see how good our coaching staff really is. I don't buy the whole home field advantage thing with Stanford. Don't give me the re that's not going to be the reason they win this game. Uh, Stanford is anything but a home field advantage. Let's be real here. So that part doesn't bother me. The fact that it's there. The rain. We'll see what the rain does because I, I think it's scheduled to rain at Palo Alto. So we'll see there. Uh, on a quick basketball note, Ben Howland, your time is ticking. And Dan Guerrero, boy, you you guys have left a mess. A major, major mess in basketball. Uh, obviously, the loss to Cal Poly Slow doesn't help, but they haven't even played well. They have not been impressive minus one game. We haven't seen UCLA hoops being good since 2007 to 2008. The 08 09 season, that was when Darren Collison graduated with Josh Shipp. They had that some life because there were some players left, but ever since Josh Shipp, Alfred Aboya, and Darren Collison graduated, this hoops team has been a mess. Uh, it shows that Howland can't coach with all this talent. I mean, I could go down the line of guys who've transferred. We've seen one or two transfers every year. Chase Stanbeck, Mike Moser, Reeves Nelson, Dan Parker, Anthony Stover, Ryan Wright, uh, Jamison or Bobo Morgan, Tyler Lamb now, uh, and, of course, Josh Smith today, uh, Brendan Lane, also Drew Gordon. Everybody is leaving UCLA, and it's it has to start with Howland. I don't get why this team... This hoops team is such a mess inside. Why Howland cannot coach them? Because offensively, they look like a mess. What I've been watching, and 
they don't know how to play. It used to be just, hey, 2 3 zone beats Ben Howland's team. Now every defense beats Ben Howland's team. Uh, where t- twins look pretty awful when they're both on the court. Uh, just haven't seen anything good with this, this Hoops team. And Howland, I know you can't fire a coach midseason the way college basketball works, but your time is ticking. you got to prove that you can do it with eight scholarship basketball players. It, I'm depressed. UCLA hoops right now is depressed. Thankfully, the football team has done well. But it's pretty embarrassing to the hoops team when the football team, in three of the last four years, has had a better season than UCLA hoops has. It really is. It, it's embarrassing what, what Ben Howland is doing. And he's got to go. It's sad, but true. See you guys later. Let me know what you guys think. Go Bruins.